With AI Rising, everything become easy and simple to achieve these days. Let's say you have this raw, lame 3D model, and if you want to make it gorgeous in simple yet clever way, I think this video is for you. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. It's absolutely my pleasure to be here. Okay, let's begin. In first place, let me say this. Honestly, in bottom of my heart, Substance Painter is my favorite app. I love this software, but it's have annoying thing. For example, the UI, it's not working to me. File transformation, it's not working. It's so time consuming. Non-interactive workflow, it's annoying also. If you want to change anything in the texture and you see the result in your pipeline, it's not going to happen. You need to export that back and forth. So for that, we decide to create cool digital asset using Houdini, Caponicus for texturing 3D object in simple yet clever way. So we create Paint X. Let me show you. So this is our lovely digital asset called Paint X. It will help you to bring your geometry to life in simple yet clever way. It has an amazing future. We'll talk about that in this video. Make sure to watch it. So in this release, we have amazing updates. For example, we have a smart mask. It will uh, create a mask to blend two texture. For example, it will use ambient occlusion, curvature, etc. In this release, we are introducing 2D mask. You see, now we have this 2D mask using height. It will create a, a, a mask from 2D height of the texture or from the ambient occlusion. You see, you can uh, have this blending, amazing blending in 2D context. With Paint X, we have one solution map generation. For example, we have a normal map generation from the texture or specular height map from one texture this is amazing future and in this release we are so happy to announce we are supporting soft surface scattering now you see for example we have this amazing model by the way this is available for free on my patreon and you see we have this dev look app using the karma and let me show you the soft surface scattering so we have a new tab now we have this intensity because we have this input and we can bring the intensity up and assign a color for example red color and let me show you you see now we have uh, this amazing subsurface scattering you see that and this is very charming honestly and you can change the color this is a radius color and you see that's amazing now as you can see we have one channel uh, this is our gba channel the alpha is for the intensity mask and the rgb for the color so this is amazing for one input you see so far so good if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content because we have soft surface scattering we need to support more organic object so for that you see we have all these subsur uh, subsurface scattering applied to all geometry but we have this cool new mask called thickness we have now mask by thickness object thickness you see this is cool for now this is a first gen so it's yeah it's okay honestly i love it and you see now we can have subsurface scattering from the mask you see that this is applied for thin part of the object now let's say you need to paint a logo remember previously you need to go to the sub level and use this lame texture painting in <laughs> sub level and export that by the volume import that and blah 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 convert geometry to layers you see so headache but not anymore now you can hawk to it what the hell gotta give him that hawk to it spit all that thing you get me no, no, <laughs> I mean, now you can go to the mask tab. We have this cool 
paint mask you see and you can enable the paint you see that and you can now dive in and you will see yourself in sub level using this texture paint you see now you can paint your mask and your logo for example and go back and voila now you have your mask without going to soft level and set up these uh, annoying nodes you see that and now you can disable that and go back to the solaris for dev look you see now the subsurface scattering apply only them uh, only for the mask you see that cool and for for metalness you can have this uh, input by mask and you can have this glossy look amazing honestly so you see we have the total package doing everything for you for bring your geometry to life for example we have dev look future we have map generation we have subsurface scattering and we have internal paint future wow this is amazing but you see we missing something here the texture you see finding texture is so annoying for example on google every texture have for example this license or this watermark this is annoying and finding cool texture these days it might be challenging honestly so how we can fix that to be honest so we decided to go with ai generative ai we have now this texture generation in texture tab you see we have this asian truck and we hit the gen generate and we have our texture honestly this is online solution and this will use the flux uh, ai model this is open source ai model so this is uh, experimental future guys so take it easy <laughs> so we are testing something in here and you see with our uh, generation map uh, solution we have all height map normal map etc you see in bg also you have this uh, image generation with ai for example asian mod you see and it will take a time for request for uh, web requesting and generate uh, the texture so be patient guys and we have this path to store your texture it will replace the texture every time so uh, be careful with the path parameter and you see we have this successfully message and you see this is our texture and now with 2d mask you can blend these two texture you see this is amazing honestly you see that we have these two texture uh, layering up in here with ambient occlusion and that's cool now you can use another paint x to layer or load your texture rather than generate that you see with path you can load your texture and with this directional mass you can have this effect so this is so awesome to have your texture in paint x this is so amazing honestly but speaking of texturing Oftenly, when you load your texture, you will have this bad artifact by the UV, you see? And this is normal, honestly. You see that? This boundary, this is so annoying. So how we can fix that? This is, uh, wow, this is so annoying, honestly. So now, thanks to Antigma, we have UV Triplanar built in in Paint X. You see? This is amazing. You can enable it in here and you will see the miracle <laughs> wow this is lovely you see that now the blending it's awesome and you can have uh, you can adjust this blend uh, parameter you see this line and now it's gone honestly it's cool so this noise it will help uh, the blending uh, and it will prove the blending sorry and you see this is before and after wow triplanar is cool honestly so now you see this is the result this is amazing so guys, this is Paint X 0.3. We're gonna make it better and better in every version. If you interesting, it's available on my Patreon. And big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys and have fun with our content. So now the giveaway time. We have this digital asset for free for my oldest supporter. You see in this website, this is our website now we have support section and every name mentioned in this uh, page it will have our paint x for free 
if they interesting of course just dm me guys so thank you for supporting me in this journey if you want paint x for free like these guys we had amazing contest before you see that in this section now you can comment me hashtag paint x and the highest like comment will win paint x 0.3 so if you like it, just comment me hashtag paintx and I will announce the winner at this. Now, let me show you a showcase. You see, I have this model and I have this mask. You see that? Just for the head, I paint that in here and I added some noise, you see? And let me show you the result. And this is the subsurface scattering using the mask in here. You see that? And this is subsurface color and let me go in here you see let me show you we have the metalliness too let's go with karma xpu uh, sorry cpu because xpu is not good for now you see we have that and in here i paint this using uh, generative texture laser uh, lizard skin let me show you this is the skin you see amazing honestly <laughs> this is so time saving for me this generative texture and in here we have this mask you see that with uh, uh, i paint it and i multiply that with the noise and this is the result you see wow this is amazing jeez this dev look uh, solution it's game changing honestly so i invert the mask you see that i invert the mask and in here i uh, multiply the mask by this painting you see not that sorry this one yeah i multiply the mask in here and i change this uh, noisy look you see we have this greenish in here and this is cool wow <laughs> really charming honestly and by the way this model is uh, available on my patreon for free and you see in this stand i create metalliness and black color and yeah and the last one i paint my logo in here this is easy to achieve you see that wow lovely so with that have a good day goodbye